Okay, so sorry for the blur. Um, here, I'll even just take these off because uh, I don't want to try to rub the camera again because it might go all blurry once again. But this is um, two and about um, Gabriel Kundalini, I believe the name is. Uh, and I just want to use this as an example. This guy <coughs> is... Um, I really appreciate people like this because there's a lot of times when I come out as very harsh uh, when speaking about cults because I've been researching them for a decade and a half. Um, and he made a remark. He said, well, you know, I, I didn't, it, with um, Kriyananda, I didn't see anything like uh, Jonestown or Heaven's Gate. And most destructive cults aren't like that. You know, Scientology um, and this one, uh, most people will try to dispute Mormonism, um, Jehovah's Witness, uh, what's another one? Um, wow, for somebody who constantly makes videos on cults, it's crazy that I'm blanking on it. I blank on dates and stuff like that all the time. But um, most ma most destructive cults don't end in, um, in mass suicide or anything like that. And I'll, I'll have videos on cults, and I... Um, I'll actually do one with Roman Catholicism, even though I'm not a Roman Catholic. Um, and I even oppose um, the Catholic Church's theology and, and structure, but not the individuals. Um, a difference between that and the Mormons. Um, <coughs> now, um, there's usually, there's criteria, and I have videos on that. But why I really like Gabriel Kundalini is because I disagree with him, but there's no hostility. Even... In my initial comment, I came off maybe as hostile, um, or, well, not, I don't want to say I came off as hostile, I just kind of, maybe snarky a little bit. But when I made the video, I tried to make it clear that I wasn't just, um, that I dug his videos and I, you know, wasn't doing this as a gotcha type of thing. Um, and he's, he was very cool about it, as opposed to basically a very, very similar instance um, uh, tone of the video uh, concerned thing uh, with the Gnostic truth who then responded with you know when I said like you're you know um, he said why well, I, I would be cool to look into um, pre uh, second millennium Gnosticism and I said oh Check out Pandir's box. He's one of the most knowledgeable Gnostics I've seen on here. And he became very crazy of, like, just ripping into me. You know, like, I, I don't know what he read into it. I don't know if he read it that well. But he just got very vicious. And then, as if I was personally attacking him by suggesting this to him, and then he said, don't think that I have any mental uh, inability um just because you can't see what you saw to me was offensive is evidence of your covert hostility towards me. And all this crazy shit, narcissistic and mean, and for somebody who claims to have gnosis and Sophia, knowledge and wisdom, it's kind of evidence that they don't have the gnosis or Sophia. Um, <coughs> but both, both of them are, you know, white Americans. And you see how very different people are. Um, Gnostics usually tend to be elitists, but then again, there are many people who use the term Gnostic who are actually neo-pagan. And it's, <laughs> I actually get along with pagans and neo-pagans a lot better than Gnostics because they usually are this very enraged narcissism of, if you disagree with me, fuck you and you're trying to attack me. And Gabriel Kundalini isn't like this. Um, so, to you, Gabriel Kundalini, thank you very much for being, um, being, uh, well, I would say very Christian, your actions, but <laughs> that would be Eastern Christianity that I'm a part of, the, the Western fundamentalists, or it's, it's worlds apart, that's why I don't even like saying that I'm Christian, because it's, it's too deficient, no, we don't have heaven, hell, um, Christ dying for our sins in the East, um, and we're older actually. But I didn't come. I don't believe in proselytizing either, nor does my church. So I don't want to get into that right now. Uh, but we could see two stark differences in these these individuals. And I will have. Um, I did the top ten cults thing. 
Uh, oh yeah, Solar Temple. It, well, no, Solar Temple ended pretty badly. Uh, but things like uh, Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. Uh, but I will, um, I will be uh, making videos in each one of them, and I'll I'll go through this. And, and good guidelines. Uh, Steve Hassan has up a website. Um, he's a he got out of the Moonies. The Moonies another one that's a cult. Um, and he lays out the criteria. Uh, Robert J. Lifton, who worked for the U.S. government studying the Maoist revolution and what happened in Mao's China, the totalistic communities. Um, Mar the late Margaret Singer, um, beautiful woman, maybe not physically, but I'm not attracted to white women, so. Um, but there are many beautiful white women. Uh, I'll watch, I'll probably wind up marrying a white woman, you know, uh, being like, that's the most beautiful person in the world. But um, Marsha Rudin, and, um, well, it, out of those, there's no, the two of them are Jewish and two of them are atheist. Um, they give good guidelines for what is a cult, what isn't a cult. Um, there's facnet.com. Um, but I'll be going through these, and I have plenty of past videos on cults. But um, I dig it when somebody, I can disagree with somebody, whether they're atheist, whether they're neo-pagan, new age, um, Muslim, although I get a lot of death threats from Muslims because I left Sunnism, uh, the religion of my birth. Uh, but I, I dig the fact that I can very much disagree with somebody or not see eye to eye, and there's not, you know, personal attacks or hostility. Um, but as we see from the Calvinist, uh, <coughs> you know, any. Anything you could say about um, the Syriacs or the Eastern Orthodox is fine. You can just throw all the shit you want and just see what sticks. And even if it doesn't stick, still accuse somebody, you know. Um, and that I really don't like. I don't like how on, on the Internet people think they can just say whatever they want, no matter how detestable it is. But uh, this is one instance, and one of the few instances where I've actually interacted with somebody who is New Age, who didn't initially talk very softly and kindly in this kind of nicety of their almost like a, a, a you know like the Buddha or like Gandhi, and then remember every past you know infraction even if it wasn't towards them you know go back in your past and all past videos where maybe you lost your temper, and then throw that on you and condemn you and everything, um, which is I found in the New Age movement a lot, but thankfully. Gabriel Kundalini is not like that, which I feel I had to make this video because there's been so much hostility lately. Um, you know, just, you know, again, just throwing shit out there and see what sticks. Uh, that I really do appreciate those who um, are not vitriolic and mean, and there's not venom. Um, and I even talked to Gambler and said, you know, maybe my tongue is too sharp, you know, <laughs> you should do more videos, you know, because I shouldn't probably be doing a lot of videos because sometimes my tongue is too sharp. But we have to contend for the truth. Um, and I try to, I, I don't think I've ever gotten personal on here, except maybe for with, a few years ago with Bill Z. Bob and maybe for a short time with Pandora's Box, but we had since patched things up. And I hope to talk to him when he comes back in March. So I just want to make this video and as like a, um, a part two almost to that video. Um, but I'd love to talk with this Gabriel Kundalini sometime in depth. Um, and Gabriel Kundalini, if you want my if you want to talk on the phone, I'll give you my cell phone number. Um, just don't give it out to anybody. Or um, if you want to give me your number, I can text you. I never give out personal information, or even. Um, when I talk about a private message, I never give the name of who it's from because I keep things in confidence, and even that I don't usually don't read it directly. I paraphrase. So, peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland, and please, please pray for the Syriacs and the cops. Take it easy.